same as Filipinos. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, Spanish girl, Dominican girl, whatever. Okay, she wants her little mother. She wants her hair done, this and that. Some motherfucking shoes, iPhone. You know, she might want a little motherfucking car, scooter, or something tangible, or something that you already have—a fucking laptop, or this or that, a little comfort items, and that's understandable. I can't, I can fuck with that. I can understand that. But you want, you. <laughs> it seems to me like Filipino women—they want shit. This even the, they, what you have in front of you tends to be not good enough for them. They want everything. I would not, that would be like me flying to the motherfucking Philippines and telling a girl like, hey, I need a mansion for me and I'm going to fly 10 other niggas from fucking Alabama here too and you're going to buy them mansions too, but you're never going to meet them and whatever, you know, it's like, huh, that doesn't, make, that doesn't even make sense on paper now, but many of the Jewish friends that I have, they've done this exact fucking thing and I'm like, dude, you're making me re-question your motherfucking IQs here. Like, what's going on here? Don't, don't you read? I know you read books. You know what hypergamy is. How is it? That, is the pussy that good, dude? I mean, <laughs> I don't fucking get it. So, um, and I'm not joking about this. I, I do. I, I do a lot of comedy shit. A lot of my shit. Like, hey, don't take me serious on this and that. I'm serious about this shit. Filipino hypergamy is like the fucking highest, highest, highest I've ever seen. Why, why, why? What's up with this high level of expectation from motherfuckers? Questions, comments, dislike me, hate me. Some, some nigga fucking, uh, oh shit, there's fucking porn on the screen right now. Motherfuckers. <laughs> ah, next videos. Some, uh, what the fuck? What did this nigga write on here? Nope, I just got a comment this morning. Motherfucking, no doubt a motherfucking Filipino with that name. It says, nobody wants to watch your ugly face. I was reading on the YouTube or whatever back there. Well, apparently 80 million motherfuckers on the other porno channel want to watch my face. And not only that. <laughs> not everybody can be a porn star, nigga. If black people are natural fucking athletes and entertainers, I'm going to exploit that. Okay? The stereotypes are true. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? People should do what they do best, and stereotypes exist for a reason. So, if blacks are athletes and entertainers, and Ethiopians are taxi drivers, models, and uh, porn stars, and rap video girls, and things of that nature, I pretty much fit most of those stereotypes, and I'm going to play them to a T. Not to mention the long distance running thing. It's like, stereotypes are what they are, okay? Filipino people are typically, what, uh, fucking nurses? Telemarketers, hello sir, good morning sir, oh thank you for that information sir, that kind of shit. Whatever the fuck the stereotype is, people generally do it. You know, if I was like a straight up pure black, black man in America, security guard, this, that. What have my past jobs been? Security guard, truck driver, motherfucking, that kind of shit, whatever. So, stereotypes do exist for a reason and uh, I'm going to say that the stereotype of Filipino women is that they're hypergamous and they're kind of on the hunt for especially a Jewish guy a British guy, Australian guy, but the white man, quote unquote. But uh, in particular, at least in America with the guys that I know, uh, they want that Jewish man, you know? Shalom and all that good shit. So I'm just throwing it out there. It is what it is. These are my personal observations. I'm not going off of some shit I read on the internet. You know what I'm saying? I know these niggas. I know them. Okay? I talk to them, we have conversations, and they tell me what fucking happened, okay? And even though I have spilled my own beans on here about my own marriage and hypergamy story, like where I lost all this shit, million dollars, this, that, and the other, whatever, I'm still okay enough with my ex that I could talk to her, and I didn't lose my fucking mind, I didn't commit suicide, and I haven't lost the whole fucking farm, you know what I'm saying? I know nigga, these motherfuckers have lost fucking the motherfucking farm and it's tragic it's sad and nobody wants to talk about it they just got their tail between their legs like it didn't even happen but I'm just like god damn if some shit happens or if a motherfucker drives off a cliff somebody should at least post up a warning sign like hey you know the last motherfucker took this curve a little too hard and he drove off the fucking cliff so I'm just throwing it out there like yo just watch yourself man I, I, I know better you know, I'm not going to slip into that motherfucking bear trap or whatever.
and all that shit. You guys can keep your motherfucking uh, Koji Sun skin whitening soap. Your bitches ain't never going to be white. You know, do your best to rebuild your own country, rebuild your own life, and make the best out of whatever you got. You know what I'm saying? I guess. But, I mean, it is what it is. I didn't fuck up the Philippines, okay? It was fucked up when I went there, and uh, it's not my problem or my duty to fix it. It's not my duty to buy them motherfuckers houses, cars, farms, and, you know, help all these other motherfuckers. It's, it's not my duty. Sorry, okay? When you motherfuckers go to Africa and start rebuilding fucking Ethiopia and all that shit, We'll have something to discuss, but until that day comes, don't expect it from me. Shit. And maybe that's why they don't like me. This is Shemmy from The Shemmy Show. Um, signing out, Shemmy Triple X. Follow me on fucking Twitter, Instagram, Shemmelise McBeb. Stalk me, give me some more credits about me and my ugly motherfucking face. But uh, I'm telling you, man, all them motherfucking finays, man, their fucking eyeballs drop out their head when they see the motherfucking six pack and the six incher. So, fuck y'all, man is what it is, yo. You guys have your country, so arika. I'm here in Thailand, peace out. Peace and hair grease. Find my movies, I want your money, honey.